Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting to simplify here. Now, often when students start simplifying, it gets really confusing what you need to know and what don't you need to know. So in this video tip, I'll also explain a little bit of what are the basic things you need to know. Uh, what I did over here is I factored out the common term here. Since this one has a sine x squared, this one is 1, because it's really 1 times this. Okay, from here, one of the most important thing you need to do or need to commit it to memory is this. Okay, sine x squared plus cosine x squared equal to 1. This is not harder because using definition you'll have sine is the adjacent over hypotenuse and uh, this is adjacent. This is the opposite. Okay, so if you use hypotenuse, uh, sine x squared becomes uh, opposite over hypotenuse plus adjacent over hypotenuse. This using the Pythagorean theorem becomes h over square, that's equal to 1. Okay, so this is one of the most important ones. Next thing you need to know is tangent theta is always equal to sine theta over cosine theta. Okay, this one comes really handy when you start simplifying anything you want tangent. Uh, secant is next. Now there's a trick here. If it starts with with s, then one over this gotta be a c. Okay, so c s c cos secant it then becomes sine. Okay, so those are the couple elementary ones that would come really handy. Now coming back to our question here, I have a sine squared x minus one. So this becomes cosine squared x. Since sine squared and cosine squared when you add them equal to one, then sine x squared minus one becomes minus cosine squared. And you're just going to move this one basically using the first thing I said over here. And then multiplying them together, you have minus cosine to the fourth of x. All right. Hope this helped. Have a confident day.